the lead section to access the lead section you have a couple of ways you can directly click here or you can click on view lead of uh, buttons here so if you click view lead here then you will be redirected to the leads page where you can see all your leads in on one page on the top you have the platform so if you are using multiple platforms ansco and noc you can differentiate between two platforms if you are using just one platform you will not get this um, option um, here you have a filter to select if it's um, all or my so all leads means all the leads and my leads means the leads only assigned to you you can search leads by lead code first name and a couple of options listed here and um, if you want to create a new lead you can do it here so once you click on here it will bring up a form which you fill in uh, with the basic details and once you click save it would um, create a new lead um, this the next option is filter so if you click on filter it would bring up the information so if you want to filter up on um, let's say lead assigned to one person or lead generated from a specific source then you can do it and here you can download all the leads or the selected leads into excel and this is just a refresh button so if you're stuck somewhere you can just hit this and refresh the leads module within itself um, going down to the list um, you have the lead code here the date and time when it was generated the platform from which it was generated as in it was a widget it was a white label it was a banner box um, and what was the interaction that the person did as in like occupation report points test visa fees and so on in the second column you have the name contact number and email address of that person and uh, if the person has downloaded an uh, occupation report then we will link this specific occupation that the person has downloaded up here so let's say if someone calls up and you want to discuss um, the current latest options you don't really need to go and find out what occupation they're eligible in and everything you just click here and you would be redirected to the latest version of um, the search results for that specific occupation The next is um, the lead assigned to so as in like you can select people uh, from your organization to who you want to assign it to and lead status as well as in like if it's assigned it is in progress is it closed or registered already. Um, file notes is a really good option that I like to tell people about. Um, what you can do is you can click here view or add notes and it will bring up a list of interactions that you may have done with the client um, so here is the starting from occupation report sent for software engineer then you can add note it's very simple you just put in a title of docs requested and select the communication type I would just put an email and documents requested to start process and once you click save it would create a note into the system for the update and it would put the name of the person entering the note so you can view and put in notes for different people as well uh, it has the date and time and one good feature about this from the compliance point of view is that you cannot delete a note once added um, you can archive it once you click yes it would be archived so it would appear as archived um, in the records but the record will still be there for audit and um, quality purposes and you can add unlimited notes to a case um, there is no limit on how many notes you can add you can click on here as well to see a specific note um, you can see the lead details up here and you, also, you can also see the file notes in there as well you can edit the details from here you can archive the lead and because I am the system admin I can also delete the leads however um, this right is only with the system admin if you are an employee within um, your organization then you may not have this right please keep in mind that once you delete a lead you won't be able to recover it however if you archive it you can unarchive it in future